We have three amazing agents. What makes you excited? I like the action. How much do you want to make? Write that on a check. I want this info. That stuff excites me. We're going to change lives out there. Ready? We have um, three different amazing agents out there, and I had the pleasure to work with them for many years. And I know just you being here, you're losing money. So I appreciate you, and I promise that whatever we're going to make, it will change some some lives out there. Thanks. So cool. um, my first question is, um, and this is something you can all jump in and talk about it. What makes you excited about your life since each one of you have it all from agent standpoint, from outside? They feel you're so successful, you have an amazing team, you got it down to the T, you have no challenges. If that's what they think. No challenges. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, what makes you excited? It looks, it looks perfect, but it's not perfect. Um, what makes me excited is the opportunity to grow, an opportunity to learn, an opportunity to teach people around me, um, and that goal that I'm chasing of uh, financial freedom in the near future uh, that, that keeps extending further in my life. When is it now? When is that goal? When is that financial freedom? When would you stop? I, personally, and what my wife says, that it will never stop mm -hmm. uh, because I think it's a sickness that most of us have Yeah. because we don't really know what that is, but we feel like if you're going to reach this point, it will be okay. Um, I, don't, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, all I can tell you is that I enjoy what I do. My drive is always the excitement is fear and, and the goal, but that goal is somewhere far away. Can I ask a question? Yeah, absolutely. So do you have like a certain number, if I have this many houses, if I have this many units, if I have this much money in the bank, I'll be good. Like that's my goal. I've set that goal and I've reached that goal certain times, but then you have a bigger business, you have a lot more, more employees, New you have goals. more liability. Yeah. No, you, no, it's just the, the more you expand, the more things you add to your yeah. life. And when you add more things to your life, your goal because, oh my God, I have to afford this person, I have to afford that person, oh my God, private school, oh my God, this, food, assistant, it just, just expands. The more you have, the more the you more, have. The more you have, and, and, and it's not organized, it's not perfect, and it's not easy. But it feels messy. Often. It feels really messy. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I said. It's when I got here, I'm like, between three, four appointments so in a true. row, you feel like you're missing something. And that, that feeling of that you're forgetting something is the worst feeling that you can have because you want to be on top of everything. Right. Right? Because the drive of personality, but you're not on top of everything. But it's funny. I actually got in the business to make enough money um, to... Uh, com the, the comparable income of what a McDonald's franchise owner w would actually make. And at the time, I pegged it was about $35,000 a month. Um, you know, and like Dennis said, you start evolving, you start having people that you're responsible for, your life gets bigger, more people rely on you. Mm -hmm. You start to become a little bit of like a staple in your small little community mm -hmm. where you, the only thing you could do to... Um, uh, provide the loyalty back to them is make your life even bigger and bigger and bigger so that they can continue to reach their goals within your life. Mm -hmm. There's just you end up meeting people and talent that you just don't want to part ways with mm -hmm. and you either make your life bigger or you just stop growing and um, and then you meet people like you know these folks um, that have it all put together and you're like you know one day it's gonna look like that and it's gonna feel like that and maybe then I'll stop. Well, it's funny you said that because you're sitting at the table with them and you're hearing from them, right? That is not. And they think yours is most probably all easy, simple, you got it all together. Do you have a goal that at one point you will stop? Now that it was 35000 a month. Yeah. And now the, what? The, the, that's what it was you know, when I got into <laughs> We all know it was 35000 <laughs> <laughs> um, When I was 16 and a half working for a mortgage broker, um, he said... Is that me, legal? Yeah, it's legal. You can work oh. for someone with the worker's permit. We should run some ads. Yeah. It must um, be cheaper to hire 16. One thing that he said to me was, if you're going to compete, plan on being highly competitive. Otherwise, why compete? And so now, mm -hmm. every day, what jumps me out of the bed is, I, I want to be number one. You know, I have a daughter. And the last thing I want is to tell my daughter, work hard like daddy, because daddy works 
longer earlier, longer later than most people. Yeah. Work hard like daddy and then one day you'll be number two. Work hard like daddy and one day you'll be number three yeah. or four plus. Mm -hmm. So um, my objective is to one day be able to look at my daughter and say, one day when you do this, you can be number one in your trade, whatever that's gonna be for her. So hopefully the legacy, real estate, right? Hopefully, uh, the, the legacy. Why is that, by the way? Why is why do, as every real estate agent says, hopefully my kids are not in real estate? Why is that? <laughs> every, I don't know. I would like them to be in real yeah? estate. Yeah. I hear most people I talk to who are in real estate don't want I, their kids to be I don't think estate. it's just real estate. I think if you talk to a doctor, a doctor says, I don't want my kids to be in health care. Yeah, really? Yeah, I agree. Talk to an attorney who's like, I don't want my. Why? I think, I think if, especially. Yeah, I can tell you why me, but. but, but. I, I don't know about others because I feel that I want them to be in real estate. Yeah. But I do think that um, a lot of times, I don't know if you sold homes and you notice a lot of kids will say, I don't want to do this. My dad or my mom, they will retire and I, want, I just don't want anything to do with their business. Yeah. Too much of a workaholic parent on one area, the kids are provided well. And at one point they're like, well, I don't want that because yeah. they most probably, you sacrifice a lot to provide yes. or give, and so you're giving up, you're taking away from your personal relationship yeah. with the husband, spouse, or... But in um, any industry. In any, any industry that's what that I'm that saying. And eventually, so the other party says, well, I don't want that because that the means time. the time. Oh. You give so much to your business and it takes away from your family, they're like, well, I don't want that because they that's blame it on that industry, mm -hmm. which has nothing to do with the specific industry. I think it's about whatever you're passionate and you do so much of it. Yeah. Why don't you want your kids yeah. in, the, in the business? I think I'm constantly on a run. I'm constantly. You are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly running, 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 running. There's no pause button. There's in real no estate. pause button, and the pause button is sleep, and you still need you need that. And I've and also Eric, when you get older, that that becomes so much harder. <laughs> at 9:30 at night, my brain is like. Pfft. Yeah. At 10 o'clock, my brain doesn't want to work. Mm -hmm. 10, 30, 11, you just can't push yourself anymore. And at 30, 29, 27, I was 11, 12, <laughs> yeah. one. Exactly. No matter what, I was driven. Yeah. Now it's like you know what. Yeah. yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Your yeah. harvest said, Dennis, don't worry about it. It's still going to get done one, one, one day. We're selling our time. And yes. there's only so many hours yes. in the you day. Yes. Mm -hmm. And sleep is important. And it's actually very important to, to how you function. Although yes. when you're in your 20s, you can still function at a different level with five hours of sleep then. But it's, it's very important, just like exercise. Absolutely. You got to make time for exercise, sleep, hygiene. You got to take a shower. I mean, those are important yeah. things. And then the rest of the day just gets... No, and by the way, that wasn't a kick towards you being younger. Yeah, it, it was just... <laughs> it feels like it's like... It wasn't that. It wasn't that, but We're it's, just it's, jealous. Yeah, we're just jealous, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I, I feel the jealousy for sure. <laughs> um, but let me tell you, before, maybe a few years ago when people would say, would reference with, you know, when you're in your early 20s or when you're younger, I'd be like, hey, I, I'm, I'm just as capable in whatever age, you know, I'm in. Um, now, I, I, my, my, my body feels like it has miles in it. Yeah. At 30? Yes. Well, just 30. wait. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really does. So um, when someone says, oh, yeah, when you're in your late 20s, early 30s, I'm like, yes, all day long, because I feel like I'm in like mm -hmm. my mid-40s. But you run hard. But most, I was people just, don't exactly. run, yeah. most people don't run hard. It's like a race car just always <laughs> on high rev. He's at 7.30 in the morning in the office with the entire team, and if they're late... They're in trouble, and he does practice scripts because they have to hit the. Actually, before that, because you have to hit the phone at 7:30, and so you don't see That's a lot of 30 years old that they do that. So I think when he says that, I think he's a um, young um, in age, and he's more like 40. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I want to ask you, what's yours? What's what, the question? What makes you excited about? Um, I like the action. I really do. I remember when. I got in the business at a very young age. I told a friend of mine that if you see me hammering in an open house sign past age 40, just run me over. Because I thought that that would be the line where you set those goals for yourself. I went this by this age, this yeah. by this yeah. age. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not so much about the end destination. I really enjoy yeah. what I do and I like the action. It's like if you enjoy dancing, yeah. you're not going to say, oh, I'm only going to dance till I'm 30 or 40 or 50 or whatever it is. You just like to dance. Yes. So it's still, it's ridiculous. I, I when, when a client calls and says, I want to sell my house, it's, it's straight in. It's just what, it's just what I enjoy.